nothing more important for the economy than jobs. So what can we expect from the job market? Will it keep getting better or will it peak out? Let's welcome in arguably the most well-named man in the business, Brian Sullivan, chairman and CEO of CT Partners. <laughs> Great to see you are Great. handsome. Oh, you are just a handsome and man. Yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's like looking in the mirror. Your here, dream come true here. I know. <laughs> Double Brian, Brian Sullivan. Sullivan. This is if the there future. were three, two I would loads. Be in seven, seven, and I can quit my job forever. Two loads of BS right here. Here we go. All right. No. So seriously, you guys put out a great list of what you call the hot jobs of 2015, 2015. or the, the next year. Where are the jobs going to be? Well, we're going from your E's to our D's. It's about data. It's about digital. It's about disruption. And it's about diversity. And if we start off with data, big data has been around now for a bit, and it's typically been focused on cybersecurity and making sure that that's done. What we're seeing now is that the real sophisticated companies are changing the way that chief marketing officers think, and they've actually come up with a personalization head where they're dissecting buying habits of different subgroups, putting them together so that they can market to them all based on this data analytics. And you can pretty much throw jobs that are involving like digital or data into any sector, whether it be financials, whether it be retail, et cetera, right? And it's really getting some traditionalists uh, nervous. The chief marketing officers used to be big picture, big brand, big concept, big ideas. Big martinis at lunch. There we go. Oh, now, those are gone. The, <laughs> <laughs> now we're throwing in a big dose of mathematics, and those people are getting uh, heavily involved with the actual uh, digitizing mm -hmm. and the analytics of uh, buying behaviors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get, say somebody, a middle-aged guy comes up to you, you know, well-educated and says, I want to change careers. You know, my career that I'm currently in is in jeopardy. What are the one or two skills that you would recommend to that person to be able to find a, a meaningful well-paying career for the next 15 or 20 years? Well, once you get into your middle ages, it's really all about being able to influence others in a leadership capacity. Typically, your technical knowledge is pretty much there. Nobody's going to go back and learn how to program in their mid-40s or so. But there's entrepreneurial routes that you can go. Getting into the franchise industry, uh, beginning on a consulting basis. You know, you've got 25 years of contacts made up. It's quite often that these people can generate some opportunities for you as an independent consultant. Mm -hmm. But what I'm really excited about is the third and fourth D, which is disruption and diversity. The disruption piece is all about we've had more IPOs this past year than we have in an awful lot of time. You've got to have a chief financial officer with public uh, experience, mm -hmm. and you've got to have an investor relations uh, person, and those are two things that your typical private company CEO. And they're also very before. savvy with social media these days as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But that guy, that, that hypothetical person who comes to you and says, My job's in jeopardy, where am I going to find a job? What sectors is that person coming from? I.e., where are the jobs being lost from the fastest? Well, there's been a complete shift in the financial services business where you know, the typical big investment banks now have not been huge hires. However, the regional banks have stepped up, and this is an opportunity for them to grow. So we've seen a significant shift from those people into the regional banks, and those banks are on fire and making an awful lot of money. Your final D was diversity. It was. Dig it in. Is. Well, how about this? In 10 years, 16% of our population will go from being white Caucasian to multicultural. Mm -hmm. It's coming. So if your stakeholders, if your employees, if your suppliers aren't of a diverse nature, you're going to be left behind. The big CEOs and CHROs are in tune with this and going after it. Your market way. needs to reflect America. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Period. Changing face of America. That's right. Brian Sullivan, a pleasure to have you on the Thank show. You. Thank Say you very much. <laughs> Brian Sullivan, a pleasure to have you on the show. And <laughs> well you done. too, Brian. Good man. Good man. <laughs> okay.